you're watching 8-bit days a week and I'm gonna be playing not a shoot 'em up this time but it's a beat 'em up and it's from Capcom the guys who made Final Fight so this plays is something like Final Fight but it stars our Marvel characters Punisher the second player is Nick Fury and uh, looks like the first player is default to Punisher But I wanted to use Nick Fury. Of course, it's the original Nick Fury, not the Samuel L. Jackson. And you're probably wondering why is Punisher not using his guns? I think it's in the story. Nick Fury asked him not to use the guns. So we're stuck with it. Oh, there. You can pick up a few guns, but uh, most of the time you're limited to just using your fists and kicks and grabs. I played this once in the arcades before, um, and yeah, just once, literally. <laughs> it was a time where I just had to try like every Marvel game, because I'm a big Marvel comics fan even before. I suppose not just Marvel, but uh, comics in general. So I also read uh, DC. And Archie. And Valiant. Back when it was still big. And some might not even remember, but Valiant used to do Nintendo comics. <laughs> Is that micro? So who watched the Punisher series on Netflix? It's a shame. Uh, those are uh, those very good shows got cancelled. But I suppose we're not surprised given what's happening. I do believe this got ported to the Sega Genesis Mega Drive. I uh, didn't play that though. So I don't know how accurate or inaccurate it was. And that's it, I guess. I don't recall this coming out in uh, like the PlayStation. And it Given the licensing, I'm not surprised this isn't included in the recent Capcom beat em up collection. That's the problem with license games. Alright, gun time. Can I? Um, yeah. I guess uh, Frank needed some loving there.
I like your run is actually a roll. So Punisher was really a huge character back in the day. He starred in a movie of starring Dol Dolph Lundgren. So yeah, I'm talking about the 1989 Punisher movie. So yeah, you can imagine he's already big even then. And uh, his popularity continued toward the 90s because the dark, edgy, gritty characters were very in during those years. Uh, if you're familiar with uh, Jim Lee, the r artist, very famous, he had a, also had a work with Punitar Punisher War Journal. So if you can imagine that. <laughs> if you can find his issues. It's pretty good stuff. And speaking of uh, comics, and I mentioned Archie earlier, very famous Punisher meets Archie. Yeah, that's a real thing. But I don't think you can find it these days. I'm not sure. Alright. I actually like this gun segment. It's too bad, it's too far and few. Hey, I can pick that up. Alright. Fury would not approve. Anyway, I think that should be it for this video. This is Punisher, the arcade. Then it's running on the PlayStation Classic. No problem as usual. Um, Marvel fans, you might want to check this out if you haven't done so already. Or even just beat em up fans. Of course, it's from Capcom, so I mean, those Capcom games are usually good when it comes to beat em ups. And you're watching 8 bit days a week. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.